Okay, <clears throat> side control. This is important for everyone that's competing this weekend because you will often get stuck in side control and it can be very frustrating if you're down on points and you have to escape to catch up. So let's say worst case scenario, Keith has me in deep side control, he's got the inside space and I have no frames. I don't have this frame, I don't have this frame. This is really, really bad, okay? Because you need some sort of frame to escape. So we're gonna work on getting our frames back, all right? The technique we're gonna use for getting our frames back is basically the same for both frames, okay? This frame is super important, okay? If I can get my elbow in here, I can create space to get out. If I don't have my elbow in here, it's real hard to create space to get out. And he could smash me. Look at that, that's very uncomfortable. So while you're here, if you wanna take some of the pressure off, you can grip here. It creates kind of like a, a half frame, but also takes some of that shoulder pressure off your, off your neck and off your jaw, make it a little more comfortable, right? So you can focus on getting out and not just getting your face smashed, okay? But I wanna get this arm in front of his face and I wanna get this elbow back into here. And what we're gonna do, first of all, let's have good, a good position here. I wanna make sure I'm monitoring his hip with my knee, okay? Whether I have my leg up, whether I have it here. I don't wanna just be chilling here because I can't see what he's doing. And if he steps over to mount, I'm not gonna know until it's too late. Okay, so I wanna be smart about it and I wanna be monitoring his leg so if he's stepping over, I can feel it, all right, and stop him, okay? Now, to get our frames back, we're gonna take our arm and put our bicep up by his temple, okay? Because it's the lower end of the lever, so it's gonna be easier to move his head. If I go right here, it's gonna be harder to move his head. But when I go here, you see how it's, hard, it's harder for him to resist that movement. So I'm gonna bridge, okay, so this frame's out. I'm gonna bridge and that's gonna make a little bit of space over here and I can bring that frame in, okay? Now, if I wanna get this frame back, I can just do the same thing, bridge, and then pull this arm down in front, okay? I wanna be real careful doing that though, that I don't bridge and do Down, right? So bridge, and then bring that arm down in front of the face. And now we can grab the fabric or grab the shoulder. And now I got both my frames back. So now I'm in good position to escape, okay? This leg's still monitoring his hip, but we're gonna put it on the mat real quick and do a big hip escape as I push his face up and away. See all that space I made? I'm gonna bring my bottom knee down and in. You okay, buddy? All right, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scoop this arm and I'm gonna hip escape that way until I can bring my leg through, okay? So again, worst case scenario, I made a lot of mistakes to get here, kids. So now we gotta start being real smart with our jujitsu. So first thing, I'm gonna get this inside frame back by bumping and pulling this in. This frame here, I'm not framing with my wrist on his hip. He could drop his hip and wrist lock me, which would be bad. And it's just a weak frame, okay? I wanna use this part of my arm, right above my elbow. Use that, that's a natural frame. Now if he drives into it, no matter how hard he drives, I'm not even pushing. It's just the structure of my arm holding that space, okay? Now, I can get this frame back too by bumping and bringing this arm in front of his face, but you don't need it, especially in the gi. I can grab this grip here, thumb in, back of his neck, okay? And then I do the ex same exact move. I shove him up, I do a big hip escape. Okay, see all that space I made? And now I bring this knee in, underhook this arm, and I keep hip escaping this way until my foot, ballerina toe, comes out, okay? Do the other side. Same thing, he's in all my space. I don't have my good frames. This is a very bad situation. I'm gonna take this arm, again, I'm monitoring here. Bridge, get this frame back, okay? I can bridge and get this frame back too. I don't need it necessarily. I can just grab his collar, okay? I'm using my elbow here basically for this frame. And I'm gonna shove up and do a big hip escape. Bring that bottom leg in, underhook this arm, keep hip escaping until I can get back to guard, okay? Any questions? All right, so I really want us to work on getting those frames back today, so we're gonna start in our um, situational without our frames, and work on getting those back, and then do the escape, okay? All right, let's run it, one, two, three. Yeah.